and welcome back to this week's self love masterclass. My name is Renee. I'm a self love teacher, coach, doula, and a Reiki master. And every single week, we come back here to explore new ways to develop our self esteem, our self worth, and to create the inner wisdom to manifest the life of our dreams. I so appreciate you being here to check out this class if it's your first time. And I hope that you come back and that you subscribe. And of course, to all of my peeps out here who come here and watch these videos every week, you know how I feel about you. I love you. I appreciate you. And it means a lot that you're here. So today I want to talk about how to be more positive. I think that a lot of us feel like by now we should know how to be more positive. Positive. You know, I think a lot of us have read a lot of self-help books or maybe even done a lot of courses and it can feel really frustrating, right? When you've done a lot of programs or read a lot of articles or done a lot of work on yourself and you still fall into this trap of being a negative Nelly, so to speak, or just being really down. It's almost like you don't know how to snap yourself out of it. What we really need right now for a lot of us is just to figure out how to actually be more positive, particularly when we're facing a difficult situation in life or things are just really crappy. So without further ado, I just wanna jump right into the tips and I hope you guys really enjoy them. So one of the things that I do personally, if I feel like I'm kind of in a rut or I'm struggling a little bit, and this is stuff that I also recommend to my clients, obviously, is I get really quiet. You know, you want to sit in silence or certainly be in a space where you can maybe do some journaling. The thing is we really need to be able to introspect. We really need to be able to check in with ourselves and to reflect, to actually find out what is going on. It can be really easy to think that we know why we're feeling sad or angry or mad or frustrated or disappointed or whatever it is. But in my experience with myself and working with people, I find that things are not always as they seem. So it might appear to you that you're upset with your husband because he isn't helping you with the kids or you're upset because your boss was a bit of a jerk to you or you know, you're just frustrated because of some money thing. But if you really sit in silence, like go into meditation or do some journaling, you might find out that there's actually something much bigger going on in the background. It could be that you're sad because you're not where you expected to be in life or where you wanted to be in life. It could be that you're sad about some other thing that happened a couple of weeks ago or even last year. You never know. So that is my first recommendation is get quiet, sit down, meditate or journal and actually ask yourself, what is happening for me right now? What is making me so sad or angry or whatever it is right now? And give yourself time to write out like anything that comes up. What's really important when you're doing this exercise is that you don't critique yourself or that you don't change things. So whatever answers come up for you, you want to just let them flow on the paper. You want to just let it go. And then after you can reflect on all the things came up. Now, when you see the things come up, you might know exactly Exactly what you need to do to actually address them. But if you don't, then my recommendation is that you work with someone like myself that is a coach that can help you to work through those issues or you seek some other form of professional help like maybe a psychotherapist or um, a counselor or something like that. Okay, the second tip that I have for you is you want to be paying attention to what you're paying attention to. So you probably have heard before that energy flows where attention goes. So if you're focusing on things that are really, really crappy, you're going to start to feel really crappy. Not only are you going to start to feel really crappy, but you're going to start to direct that crappy energy at other people and also to yourself. It's almost like when you're constantly focusing on the negative, all you get is more negative. If you want to actually feel happier, if you want to be feeling a bit more positive, then what you want to do is you actually want to get to a place of gratitude. You want to get to a place where you start to notice all of the things that you want, all of the things that you already have that are awesome, all of the things that make you remind you of who you really are and not all the things that you aren't. And the more you start to focus on, 
ah, oh, all these amazing things, the more you're going to see amazing things and the more amazing things are going to show up for you. So if you're struggling, I definitely recommend that you do this. Just ask yourself right now, what have I been thinking about? What have I been paying attention to? And if it's stuff that's really negative and stuff that does not empower you, it's time to shift your focus. All right, I don't know if you can hear all that noise in the background. I have no idea what they're doing out in the hallway, so I apologize if it's a bit distracting. If you can't hear it at all, well then, amazing, that worked out. But for the rest of the video, just do your best to try to ignore it. And again, I apologize for it. I didn't know they were gonna be doing work out there at this time. Okay, so tip number three is you wanna figure out what you're avoiding. So this is kind of almost like the opposite of thing number two. So in thing number two, or tip number two that I talked about, I said you want to actually just focus on the positive. In this particular tip, what you want to do is you actually want to focus on the negative, but you want to be focusing on it in a constructive way. So this is not where you just let your ego and your mind just take over your life and run the show and like just make you more and more angry, frustrated, tired, depleted, or depressed. This is where you constructively sit down and you say, okay, there's something going on here that I've not been paying attention to and I think it's something I've been avoiding. So you ask yourself the question, what have I been avoiding? What is it that I don't want to face? What is all of this anger, sadness, frustration, depression mirroring back to me? Can I trace it back to something? You know, when I'm working with my clients and they say they're feeling really crappy or they have a lot of mood swings or bad moods, a lot of the time I figure out that there's like some dream or some purpose or something that they wish they had done or said that they haven't been doing. So I guess another way to say it is a lot of times there's a lot of regret linked to ongoing feelings of frustration, anger, and disappointment. And we actually have to address that regret. What regrets do you have? What have you not been wanting to tell the truth about? What are you not facing? And if you can answer those questions truthfully, you'll somehow find the sense of freedom where you can now start to work on dissolving those issues or breaking through those issues so that you can get rid of these, well not get rid of the feelings, but you'll just move to a higher vibrational place a higher emotional state than where you are right now. And part of the reason why I'm really saying to do this tip along with the other tips is because oftentimes what we tend to do is we just want to be all positive all the time, right? It's like we just want to be happy all the time. But if you want to be an empowered being, you really need to be able to understand how to deal with both the positive and the negative in your life. And you want to be able to know how to utilize both positive and negative emotions emotions to serve you. And so that's what this last tip is really about. It's about making sure that you're not avoiding things, but that you're working through and dealing with things. And again, if you're not really sure how to do that, because I know this can be complicated or it can, it can feel like very heavy or hard to do, then you want to work with someone, work with a coach, work with a psychotherapist, somebody that's trained to help you to move through your emotions. At the end of the day, I think it's just really important that we be very compassionate with ourselves, that we understand that if we're in a negative mood or a bad mood or we're just not feeling very positive in our life, it's an indication that there's an opportunity for growth and expansion, that our feelings are trying to tell us something and if we would just tune in and listen to them, we could bring ourselves up to a higher emotional state. We could even be living a completely different life if that's something that we desire. Our feelings are not here to anchor us or to hold us back. Our feelings are actually something that we can use to push us forward. It's just about knowing how to do that. So I hope that this video has been incredibly helpful for you. And if it has been, leave me some comments below and give this video a thumbs up. I really appreciate it because it helps me to know what videos you guys want to see more of and what topics are of interest to you. If you're not already following me on this YouTube channel, then definitely subscribe there is a button somewhere here depending on where you're watching this or what you know what device you're watching this on but we do classes every week and we have vlogs that come out every week and 
I think things are just getting better and better. As always, it has been such a pleasure being with you for this video and now I am off to go and grab some lunch. So thank you and don't you ever forget that we are in this together. Mwah.